This is a demonstration and setup video on how to get Manga OCR running on your Silicon Mac. Now if you didn't already know, Manga OCR is a script that mostly helps you to read Japanese comics with. But you could also use it with Japanese computer games or visual novels for example. Now if you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you'll find some examples that we can test the script out with. Now, first of all, I should say that I'm running on an M2 Mac. Um, so first of all, I'll turn on the script. And whilst that's loading, I will open up my keyboard viewer so you can see what I'm doing. So Manga OCR is now running in the background. We can minimize this window. And I've set up a I've set up a uh, text hooker here so you can see the outputted text. So to do an OCR capture, uh, press command one highlight the text and yep that looks like it's worked pretty well you can see the output of text here to do a screenshot you press command 2 and again command 1 to do an OCR capture Wow, that looks like it's worked perfectly. Command 2 to do a screenshot. This text looks particularly difficult. Let's see, Command 1. Yeah, that's worked perfectly. Let's see. This one is a computer game text. Okay, so if you go down to the description of this video, you will find this simple seven step guide to getting yourself set up with Manga OCR on a Silicon Mac. Um, so step number one is to make sure that you've got Python installed on your system. And you need to make sure that you've got any of these versions installed. So what you can do is if you go up to your spotlight and start typing in terminal 
and when it appears hit enter and in your terminal window if you just type python space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter you can see that I've already got a version of Python installed which is 3.11 uh, which is correct so if you've got the suitable version of Python installed you can just move on to step 2 if you don't have Python installed then I recommend the following video which will guide you okay so once you have Python installed then you can move on to step number two which is to install the Manga OCR Python script um, if you're on a silicon sorry if you're on an Intel Mac then you can just go ahead and copy and paste this bottom command here pip install Manga OCR if you just paste that into your terminal and hit enter that will get you set up if you're on a silicon Mac like myself then what I found has worked is by installing Manga OCR in a virtual environment so first of all if you just select your desktop and then hit command N and then if you go up to the finder settings and then come down to select the little house icon here close out of here now if you select the house, I heist, house icon here and then if we just move this over to the side so we can see what's happening then in the instructions if you just copy and paste these five commands into your terminal window and then hit, en hit enter and then hit enter again Manga OCR will start installing all of the dependencies and everything it's required. So you'll notice that in the uh, your home folder, you'll have a new folder which is Manga OCR, and if you open this you have a virtual environment folder which has been created and then if you go into the libs folder you'll have python 3.11 or whichever version you've downloaded site packages and you have all of your dependencies in here and if you scroll down a bit you'll notice that you've got Manga OCR 1.11 installed and that's Manga OCR installed on your Silicon Macs so we can just quickly check that Manga OCR is working if you go to your terminal window and type Manga underscore OCR and hit enter and it might take a little bit of time the first time you switch it on uh, because it has to download some certain files so if we just wait a few seconds and there we go uh, you can see that it's reading from the clipboard so everything seems to be working fine okay so moving on to step number three so we've got Manga OCR installed on our systems but there's still a few more steps to go to get our sales set up um, so first of all if you select your desktop and then hit shift command N to create a new folder and then if you just start uh, name that folder screenshots folder 
You can call it anything that you like, but I recommend screenshots folder because it's easy to understand. Then if you just take your fol uh, the folder and you can put it anywhere you like on your system, on your computer, but I recommend putting it in your downloads documents folder because it's nice and tidy there. Okay, so for step number four, if you hit shift command five, which will bring up your screenshots control panel like so. Then if you make sure that you've got this capture selected portion selected, I think, and if you go to options and go to other location, then go to your documents folder and select your screenshots folder here and hit choose like so, and you'll see that it's select, screenshots folder is selected now. Okay, so step number five is to change your screenshots hotkeys to whatever you like. So if you go up to the spotlight and start typing in SYS for system settings, hit enter and if you scroll down to the section where it says keyboards then come up to keyboard shortcuts then come across to screenshots and these are the two shortcuts that you want to change uh, this first one is will be for your OCR capture and the second one is for a screenshot capture so the first one I recommend changing it to command one or whatever you like really but command one is pretty simple and easy to press and the second shortcut I recommend changing to command two again because it's easy easy to remember okay and hit done and you can close out of here. Okay, so for step number six, if you move across to your terminal window, you can see that Manga OCR is running in mode number one, which is called clipboard mode. You can see that it's running from the clipboard. But for this setup to work, we need to run Manga OCR in what is called mode number two, which is document scanning mode. So basically, you, uh, Manga OCR will be reading directly from the screenshots folder. So to do this, uh, if you terminate, terminate out of this window here and reopen a new terminal window, then if you take the first two commands of here and copy them and paste them into the terminal window and hit enter. So now you can see that you're in a virtual environment mode and you're running directly from the Manga OCR folder. Then what you do is you type in Manga underscore OCR followed by a space then you find your screenshots folder which is in your documents and if you take your screenshots folder and you drag and drop it directly into the terminal window like so and hit enter You can see that it's saying reading from directory users immerse documents screenshots folder. So it's now in documents scanning mode, which is the mode that we will be using from now on. Okay, so finally, this is just the icing on the cake now. So basically what it is, is that 
every time you want to turn Manga OCR on, you have to open your terminal and type in the following three commands to turn Manga OCR on. Um, and this isn't so hard to do, but it's a little bit inconvenient to have to do it every time. So I found the following method from another YouTube video, which I'll link down in the description, which basically shows you how to create an executable file so you can turn on Manga OCR with either a double click or a single click even. So to do this, if you move across to your terminal window and if you terminate out of here and open up a new terminal window and you want to input all of the following. So first of all, you type in cd space squiggly uh, forward slash desktop with a capital D, hit enter, then type nano and followed by the name of the file that you want to call it. So in this case, it's manga OCR. surrounded by quotation marks and hit enter and this new window will appear so in this new window we want to input the our three commands that we use to start manga OCR at each time so I'll just this is what I'm using right now so I'll just copy this and paste it in here and now we want to exit out of here. So you go to control X to exit. And it asks you to save uh, by hitting Y. So hit Y and then enter. And what happens is it generates this new file on your desktop. So we haven't finished yet. There's one more thing to do. And that's to hit, if you type in CHMOD followed by a plus sign followed by a lowercase x followed by a space followed by quotation marks manga hyphen OCR quotation marks and hit enter. And what it will do is it will convert that file into an executable. Uh, and that's it, basically. So what you do is just for uh, just to keep things tidy. I like to put it in my documents folder like so. Here it is, Manga OCR. And if you drag and drop it into your dock, like so, Manga OCR, next to your anime book, I guess. If you close out of here, close out of here. So whenever you want to turn Manga OCR on, you just go to your dock and click on it. And it will start Manga OCR on for you automatically with just one click from your dock. That's brilliant. And that's everything. That's you set up and ready to go.